a massive win for you guys and a comeback win at that, something this team really hasn't done this season to come back from a deficit from the first half. How much does that speak of, of the character of this team, especially over the last five games, uh, compared to how you guys were in the beginning of the season? Um, yeah, I talked about it, I think, last time when I talked to you guys. Um, I talked about how this team, um, we play through setbacks, we play through phases of the game where we have no control. Um, we started out today when we had uh, SMU pressed us high. They had good control over us. We, we didn't really get the ball out of our half um, the way that we wanted to. Um, and and they scored early. And um, yes, we were not used to that yet in this season too much. But at the same time, um, we grew together and um, we started controlling the game after that. And in halftime, we said, hey, we need one goal and that's it. Back. What does it mean to beat SMU twice here during this winning streak here? I mean, you've been a part of this rivalry now for a few years, and you know what, what, what it has to mean a little extra special to get them uh, to get the best of them here a couple times here during the stretch, right? Um, yeah, it means a lot. Um, they, I mean, we we needed to win those games. We needed it uh, very much after our start of the season, and um, I think they have. I mean, they play. They play good. They play well. The only thing is, right now, they they're they're unlucky. Um, they don't get the results that they want and need. Um, and sometimes soccer is like that. Like you don't you do, you do your best, but you don't get the results that you want. Um, so congrats on the win, man. Um, I wanted to ask. So you guys have Memphis next week, and um, it's. And then after that, after that is uh, playoffs for you guys. So what's the what is, what is you all's mindset going into this Memphis game? You know, you know, you have you know bigger, you know, you have bigger stakes ahead of that past this Memphis game. What's the mindset for the team? Well, um, we want to pull through. We want to. Um, we don't want to underestimate Memphis, even though they're um, in the last spot right now. And, but we've seen what this what this conference can do, um, and it's uh, it's a very quick up and down. And uh, Memphis can come out come out come out flying. Uh, we have to be prepared, and we have to get our la the last win of the season of the regular season. And um, that's our job. And that's what we're gonna aim to do. Talk to me about the first half, the pressure that SMU was uh, putting on you guys made some uh, very nervy moments in the back, but you guys kind of handled it uh, well. Just talk to me about that that first 45 and, and trying to, to uh, basically calm down the team. Um, yeah, well, they, they, scouted, well, they scouted the way we want to build. Um, and they were we weren't able to really um, get out of – they started locking us with one striker, and um, we, can't, we just can't let that happen. Uh, in the end, it's on us that they had so much control over us um we have to de we have to deal with it better um but we'll do some video and uh, see see how they were successful in the first minutes but i think it's on us that we were not ready to um ready to be pressed like that and then and then the team i mean it's kind of a cohesive response um but at the same time the guys like yoni uh people started started to step up and not lose their lose their way of doing things. We just doing things until we found a way to get out of their press and find the spots and find the uh, space in behind their pressure. Tell us about Learman. Why is he so important to you on the defensive side, especially? You're such a different team when he's on the field when he's not. What? And he made some big plays down the stretch to preserve that win there that doesn't show up on the box score. What makes him so special and important to this team? Um, I'll be honest. Uh, he's one of the best center backs I ever played with, and um, and he definitely changes the way that we play because he's so confident on the ball. He can he can step into spaces. He can. Uh, he can take the spot off the center mid at times, and sometimes that helps you enormously, especially with one striker pressing. You can step into the space, and you just let the center mid drop in behind him, and he is well, the center mid, and it's extremely hard to defend that. Hey, Yannick. Um, just want to ask a quick question here. On the broadcast, we talk about um, the win factor from half to half. What is it like going up against the win in the first half? compared to going with the win in the second? 
Um, yeah, I actually, uh, I actually chose the side against the win for the first half. Um, okay. It's something, it is extremely hard on our field. Um, it is extremely hard to play against the wind. But I knew if we if we got that half behind us, the second half we will be flying, and it definitely helped us today. And um, and I knew we can we can score one, two, three goals in the second half if we if we uh, were uh, determined to do so. Okay, thank you. All right, perfect. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.